Most people, most people in prison, when the three strikes came out, what happened, when the three strikes came out, what happened was you got a bunch of non-violent prison, non-violent people got long terms in prison now. And so they're not, they, they're not doing what, you know, Cash is trying to tell them to do. Mm -hmm. You know, they joining up shit with shit for protection for people, you know, they're they doing all this other stuff for protection and, and things that they don't know about. You know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> day one. And so they don't even um, understand, like, what, what they're really getting into. You come to prison, you get 25 to life for stealing a piece of pizza, and somebody tell you you're going on a mission to stab this dude. You know what I mean? Prison got, that's where you get a lot of S and Y's at, because dudes start tapping out, they're not built like that. So what happened when I, when I noticed that this was the, starting to be the population, and because of the respect and reputation that I've established, I can put out a lot of fires, right? Because I know people ain't built like that. If I give them a way out, use me as a scapegoat. I take responsibility for whatever I stand on, whatever I say I stand on. You know what I mean? If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. If we're not gonna do this, we're not gonna do that. If somebody get out of pocket, get out of line with that, then there's consequences to that, you know? And so people already knew that I wasn't with the bullshit. So when you go to your, your next board three years later, what, what year is this and, and, and what did they say? So I went to the board in 2014, got out in 2015, New Year's 2015. I went to the board in 2014. By this time, about 30 individuals, lifers, had got out before me. They went through my program. They ended up getting out. When they went to the, when they went to the uh, board, the board seen a drastic change in the way they articulated themselves, in the way they carried themselves, and how they articulated their insight on their cases. And so the board started asking, what did you, how did you make this change? And they start talking about me to the board. This guy, man, created this program. It, it's on point to set. And I gave them chronos. I gave them three chronos every week because I know every time they pass one of my courses, I give them three chronos and a certificate. Three chronos and a certificate. And it's a 28, 28 course uh, program. And then I had another program where I teach them how to facilitate the course how to teach the course. They get another, they get more chronos and another certificate for that, that I wrote. I wrote the chronos, the language on the, on the certificates and the chronos. I wrote the language to let them know this is what they've learned in this, in this class. So the program that you designed and wrote, uh, other prisoners were getting out off of your stuff before you were even able to get out. Yeah. How'd you feel about that? Oh, I was loving it because it let me know it can work. You know, it let me know it can work. And um, the first person ever got out, my brother had, uh, my brother did 20 years. It's my younger brother. He was the first person to get out by going through my group. The first, the very first person. I was like. Phew. So um, eventually in 2014, 15, you were able to get out. What, what was that feeling at that moment? Do you find out that you're getting out during that board meeting or do you have to go back and wait for them to give you your results? So what happened was when I went to the board, um, I, when I, as soon as I sat down, they said, listen, um, you're going home. We're just going to start off with that. <laughs> we're not even going to, we're not going to, we're not going to, you know, send you through any kind of, you know, no games. Uh, no games, like, no games. <laughs> you know, the, the, the DA didn't said it was good, this and that. He said, we've heard nothing but wonderful things about you, the program you created. And remember all those chronos. I got 
10 pages. I, I went last time I had like this, right? <laughs> I got 10 pages of chronos, letters from the, 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 the parents of the Scared Straight program, all those things. And they, look, they said, listen, um, we're just, you're one of those guys that we just have to let go. We know you're gonna have a great impact on the community. You've had a great impact on these guys that come up in here. We've never seen anything like it. This program that you created has got to be the best program in Folsom history. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.